Hello guys, in this video tutorial, we will tell you how to set up point of sale post payment in your app. Post system allows you to collect payments through a Stripe terminal card reader for delivery and pickup orders. The post payment is only available for the food court feature for now and soon will be available for other features as well. Now let's set up the post payment. Log into your app account and click on post payment. You will be redirected to the post dashboard. On the dashboard, you can check the stats and post figures. For making post payments, you will need a Stripe terminal card reader. You can click the purchase terminal button here to purchase the reader. From here, you can check the post orders, pickup orders, delivery orders, and post collections on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. In collections, you can view the total collection, monthly collection, and the total of orders. You can also check the pair or connected readers on the dashboard. The pair readers can be used to accept credit and debit card payments at the point of payment. Just to inform you, for now, we currently accommodate payment from the BP Post Chipper 2X BT card reader only. Now click on Payment Collector on the left side panel and you'll be redirected to the Payment Collector section. Payment Collectors can collect post payment through the card reader for pickup orders. Please note only the Payment Collectors and Delivery Boys can, can accept post payments. The Delivery Boys and Payment Collectors can log into the Delivery Boy app to accept post payment. Further, the Payment Collectors won't be able to sign up on the app. You can only add the payment collectors from this section. All the added payment collectors will be displayed here. If you want, you can edit the payment collector details or remove the payment collector from here. Now let's add a new payment collector. Click on add new button and fill the required details to add a new payment collector. Enter the name, email address, password, and address details in the respected fields. If you want, you can either enable or disable the toggle to change the status to active or inactive. You can also add multiple payment collectors. Once you have added the payment collector, an email will also be sent to the register email address of the payment collector. Once done, click on save. Now click on transaction on the left side panel and you'll be redirected to the transaction details section. Here you can view all the transactions that are done using the post system. You can search the orders or filter the orders by date. You can also view the order ID, the future name where the post payment option is used, the transaction date and ID, order amount, and the transaction status. Now let's move to settings. Click on settings on the left side panel. You'll be redirected to the general settings section. Select the future you want to set up post payment. Please note that the post payment can only be enabled on the food court future for now. Once you have selected the future, payment settings will appear below the general settings. Enter your Stripe account, live publishable key, and live secret key in the respective fields to receive the payments. Once done, click on save to continue. Now let's go back to the food court future for which you have set up the post payment. Go back to my apps and under the manage future section click on food court now click on general settings this will open the configuration settings of the food court future scroll down and move to the payment method and delivery information section in the payment method section you will see an, an additional option that is the card post on deliverable besides the cash on delivery option now you can select this option to accept payments through the card using the post delivery and pickup system. If you enable this option, your users will be able to pay with a card at the time of delivery. Once done, click on save to continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.